Hello YouTubers. Well today we're going to do something a little different. Um, this is an experiment and I don't know how well it's going to work out. We're both going to find out together. This may work great. This may not work great. So I've got my uh, little mini cleanup sluice set up here. It's meant for cleaning up uh, concentrates from placer gold mining, which is another of my many hobbies, which I don't get to practice much here in Florida. But when I'm out west, Arizona, Wyoming, parts in between. Yeah, I do that. But I have my sluice set up today because what I've got over here in this bucket is the remains of a whole lot of IC chips that have been incinerated in my foundry down here. So the remains after incineration were ground up with a blender. Um, I did a quick uh, gravity separation to wash the, the lightweight ashy stuff out. And it's been sieved, or classified, down to uh, minus 20. So basically everything that would go through a 20 uh, holes to the inch sieve is in here. The oversized stuff I'm dealing with separately, because that's almost all metal. So what I got in here, after the, all that uh, processing, is fine sand-like stuff. It's made up of bits of metal from the IC chips, including the gold bond wires. They're in there somewhere. And a whole lot of uh, silicon dye material that's been ground up to the consistency of sand. And there's also a lot of uh, copper, steel, um, that's made it through the sieve. There's a lot of internal wiring on these IC chips. And uh, a lot of that's made it through the sieve. So what I want to do is... I want to treat this stuff with nitric acid to dissolve out all of the metals and then I want to treat it with aqua regia to dissolve out the gold. The problem is 95 percent of the bulk of this is this sandy material that's left over from grinding up the uh, silicon dyes and it's just in the way. Now I have figured out ways to deal with it just basically ignore it and process everything just like it's not there but it, it is a pain because um, it makes it difficult to get the acid solutions in contact with the metal that's in there. It makes it difficult to leach out all of the uh, metal salts, the base metal salts, after uh, the nitric acid treatment. It makes it difficult to get the aqua regia in contact with the gold, and it makes it difficult to get all of the pregnant aqua regia solution out of it. It, it just, it's in the way, you know? So what I want to do is I want to try sluicing this stuff. I would normally break out my gold pans and uh, try panning this down and getting rid of the bulk of it. But it is laborious. So today I'm going to try the little mini cleanup sluice and see if I can just feed this stuff through a little bit at a time and let the running water do the work for me and see if we get a nice, uh, a nice result. So let me get set up. I need to uh, do a couple of things. Um, I need to find my uh, jet dry and put a little jet dry in the water here so that uh, I don't have surface tension issues with stuff floating. And I need to wet this stuff down so it's not going into the sluice dry. So I need to do that. Um, and I need to get, do a couple other things to get set up and ready to go. And then I'll put the camera up on the tripod and I'll show you what's going on. Okay. We are pretty much ready to go. I got the water flowing. It may take a little experimenting with the flow rate to get this working right, get good separation. But uh, I'll give it a shot. Let me get the camera up on the tripod and we'll start feeding material through. We got kind of very belighting conditions today. Bright sun to dark clouds going in front of it. So we'll see how well this turns out. Now one thing that happens every time I get my gold pans or my sluice out and I start working with this material that has gold in it, people start leaving me comments about how I'm throwing away gold. I can't possibly be panning or sluicing it without losing all kinds of gold and wasting it. Well, those people are wrong and I'll explain why. See this bucket right here? Everything that goes through that sluice is going to wind up in this bucket. Nothing's getting thrown away, nothing's getting wasted, nothing's getting lost. And what I can do is, after I put everything through the sluice, I'll clean out the sluice, get whatever the sluice caught, then I'll run the contents of this bucket back through the sluice again. 
And I can do that again and again and again, however many times I feel like I need to. Suppose I can tune the sluice to be, oh, say, 65-70% efficient. Okay, so that means I'm going to lose 30% of my good stuff into here. Well, I'll just rerun it again. And if I catch 70% of it again, you know, it's like 70% of that 30% that was lost the first time. Oh, I'd have to do a little math to figure that out. But, uh, you know, and then run it again and run it again. And pretty soon, the amount of stuff you're, you're, you're losing down here isn't enough to worry about. You just catch 99.9% .9 of all the good stuff. And that's, that's my goal here. So, you know, if a little bit of gold winds up in here, well, I can learn, live with a little bit of gold making it in here. As long as I get the majority of it up here in the sluice. That's the goal. And, by the way, I have been keeping my remains after doing all of the panning and sluicing these days. So, I may get into smelting that stuff in the future just to try to get any um, remaining precious metals out of it. We'll see. I think I've done a pretty good job of removing the precious metals. It may not be worth the effort. But, uh, for now, I'm keeping it. At least until it becomes too much of a burden to hold on to. Okay, so let me get, uh, get moving here and get this stuff running through. So naturally, as soon as I get set up to do this, dark clouds roll in. So I don't know how well this is all going to show up on video. It's getting awfully dark. Looks like it might actually rain a little bit. We'll see. Oh man, it's dark. Poor timing on my part. I should have got set up a little earlier. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm going to turn the water down. I'm going to start with a pretty low flow and uh, turn it up as needed to get things moving. Now, what I want to do here is separate the silica from the metal. I'm not trying to separate the metals from each other. There's going to be copper, there's going to be iron, there's going to be maybe some silver, maybe some aluminum in here, and the gold. I'm not trying to separate the metals from each other. I'm trying to separate the metals from the silica. So what I'm hoping is all the metals will collect up here and the silica will wash through. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see how well it works. I will separate the metals out. Oh yeah. Actually, I can see some nice wires. Might still have a little bit too much water flow. Let me turn it down some more. Okay. I can see some nice wires collecting up in here. Wires of all different sizes. But they're coming all the way down here, too. So, looks like I've got either too much flow or the angle's too, too strong. I'm thinking it's the angle. Let me see if I can uh, adjust the angle a little bit. But I am capturing, I'm capturing metal all the way along. But it's coming all the way down here, so I am going to be losing some of it. So let me see if I can adjust the flow a little bit. Let me pause the video while I do that. All right, I have uh, raised the sluice a little bit so the angle's not so extreme and reduce the water flow a little bit more and this looks like it's doing pretty good I'm catching a lot of metal up in here further down in the expanded plastic section I'm catching metal I'm sure some is making it into the bucket but hey we'll just run the contents of the bucket through again this this looks like it's working a little better I'll just put a put a glob in up here at the top and let the water wash it down through the sluice that works pretty good. Give it a little spritz there to get some of it in the water flow. So yes, I'm catching a lot of metal. I see a lot of copper. Some that looks like it might be steel. And I see gold. I see gold in the ripples. So we're catching gold. Good. Excellent. So I'll just keep doing this. 
keep doing what I'm doing. Let this stuff wash through. Once it looks like uh, the sluice ripples are really loaded with uh, metal, what I'll do is I'll do a clean out on it. I'll clean the sluice, all of, everything out of the sluice, and then I'll I'll go back to running some more stuff through it. And then uh, once I've run it all through, I'll collect the stuff out of the bucket at the end and run it again. And maybe run it again. I think I am washing some metal out. I'm going to reduce the water flow a little bit more. Boy, it's touchy. There's not much difference between too much flow and no flow. But uh, if I can get this working, it'd be great, because I've really been ramping up the amount of IC chips I've been processing every month for their gold. And just having to deal with all this other material that comes along for the ride is a real pain in the butt. If I could just separate it down to mostly the metals, that would make life a lot easier. Yeah, the expanded metal section is really getting loaded down, so I will probably have to stop and do a cleanup here pretty shortly. There is a lot of metal in the expanded or in the, in the expanded plastic section down here. There is just a lot of metal there. And there's a lot of metal up in this area too. And at least some of it is gold. Yeah. Up here at the very top of the sluice, I see, see a fair number of gold bond wires down in the ripples. Don't know if that'll show up on camera or not, but I'll try and capture it later. So, just going to keep this process up for a while. Once I decide that it's it's loaded up enough to do a, uh, a clean out, I'll just let it run for a while and try and get as much of the uh, silica sediment out of it as I can, and then I'll stop and I'll do a clean up. I'll show you that when it happens. Try and give you a better angle on what's going on. It's pretty loaded down, so I'm going to do a clean up here. The uh, mesh section down here is really loaded down. There's just a tangle of metal wires in there, creating a real log jam. And there's metal wires all the way to the end of the sluice, so I'm sure some are going into the bucket, but I will recapture them. And then the ripples in the upper section of the sluice are really loaded up with fine bits of wire and fine bits of metal. And up here near the very top, I doubt it's showing up. I don't know if I can get a good focus this close. I don't have macro lens on this. I see gold in those ripples. So there's some uh, there's some uh, gold bond wires in these upper ripples that are being trapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. I'm not going to put any more in. I've run through about half the material, I guess. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clean out on the sluice. So I'll clean this, the contents of the sluice into another bucket and then I'll uh, run the rest of this bucket through. Then I'll start working on rerunning that stuff. And we'll see what I have in the end. Hopefully it's just a fraction of what I started with and it'll be the mostly metal fraction. That's what I'm hoping. Well here's the stuff from the first sluice cleanup in the bottom of this bucket. 
So I have reduced the volume quite a bit because I've run about half the stuff from the other bucket through and this is what came out of the sluice. Now, I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but a large proportion of this stuff is metallic wires, which is good. That's exactly what I wanted. And I got rid of a lot, not all of it, but a lot of the uh, silicon dye material. So I think I'm on the right track. I just got to keep feeding it through. You know, if I can reduce the amount of silicon dye material here by two-thirds to three-quarters, I'll be happy, you know, without losing a lot of the, the metal portion. Just make it easier to deal with. I got the sluice set up again. Going to start the water running and feed the rest of this uh, first bucket through. I'm getting towards the end of this bucket and I am really happy with the way this is going. Now I'll tell you what, the riffles up near the top of the sluice are, have a, just a huge amount of gold in them. It's, it's, it's mixed in with a lot of other stuff. I mean, there's, there's copper, steel. There's still some um, silica in there, but there's a lot of gold in these ripples up near the top. And then further down, there's less. We've got this big tangle here by the expanded mesh section where the wire has made a big log jam tangle. But it's created its own new ripples, so that's good. And down here at the very end, there's a lot of metal making it this far. I do see the occasional bit of gold down here at the end of the sluice, so gold is making it into the bucket. But of course, I'm going to rerun the stuff in the bucket down here at the end of the sluice. But I'm hoping that once after this first run, when I get most of these big tangle of wires out of here that when I rerun the stuff in the bucket it'll go a lot better I can use a lot gentler flow and hopefully the gold will get captured up near the top of the sluice where it ought to be but yeah this is this seems to be working pretty good and I'm getting down to the bottom corner of this bucket. It's probably richer in gold down there anyway, which is probably why I'm seeing more of it. Yeah, why I'm seeing more of it in the ripples, because it's it's classified itself down to the bottom corner of this bucket. Oh yeah, wow. Oh my goodness. I wish I had a macro lens for that camera, but I will try to get some uh, shots because this this just has a lot of gold in it. There's it's a crazy amount of gold. So every step along the way in processing these IC chips, every step along the way is an attempt to concentrate the gold content. You know, I'll dissolve their legs off in AP solution. So that leaves behind less base metal. That means that the amount of gold is concentrated. Then I'll incinerate the IC chips. And well, that gets rid of a lot. The, the epoxies, the plastics, whatnot, and the gold that's left behind is concentrated again. Then I do a gravity separation to get rid of the ash, and that leaves behind gold, which is further concentrated. And what I am doing now is further concentrating the gold, especially in this section of the sluice right here. Boy, there's a lot of gold in there. Let me, uh, let me run the last contents of this bucket through and then I will try and get some pictures of what the top of this sluice looks like. Really hard to tell looking through the viewfinder 
if that stuff is showing up. But yeah, okay, yeah, I see it. See the gold? Look at the gold. Is that gorgeous? That's nice. And then the further down I get, the less gold you see and more debris. Well, that looks like a big chunk of gold there. Right in front of the uh, log jam of wires. All right, so I'm going to do another clean out of this sluice. Capture all this gold in the bucket. And then I'm going to uh, rerun the material in the catch bucket down here. And hopefully it will go a little easier. There shouldn't be a big log jam of wires in the expanded plastic section. And I should be able to go with a really gentle flow and hopefully separate out the gold from the rest of the stuff. The gold that made it into the bucket anyway. It looks like I captured a lot, but I'm sure some escaped. Well, fortunately the sun's back out. So uh, we can see what's going on. This is what I've got after two cleanups of the sluice. This is really concentrated in gold and metal wires. This is the stuff that went through the sluice. So I would say there's probably, oh, quick calculation, probably at least five or six times as much stuff in this bucket as there is in this bucket. Now I know some good stuff made it all the way the slew, through the sluice into this bucket. So I'm going to rerun all this stuff. But there should be a whole lot less of the big copper and steel wires in here. And uh, whatever gold made it through should be easier to capture on this second run. We'll see. I know I captured a lot of gold first time through. But we'll see how much gold's left in this. And see if we can capture it. So I'm going to run this stuff through again. Just like I did the first time. Alright, I've run everything through twice. I don't have the sort of huge log jam of wires in the mesh section that I had the first time around, so I didn't have to stop in the middle and do a clean out. I don't see nearly as much gold in the ripples near the top of the sluice as before. In fact, I just see pieces here and there when I look really close, but they're really hard to see. So, that's good. I'm going to run everything through a third time, and maybe even a fourth time. I'll do a clean out, and then uh, run it through again. Alright, everything's been run through three times. I'm not seeing a lot of gold in the ripples, just the occasional little speck. There still is a fair amount of base metal being caught in the ripples. I'm still seeing little bits of copper and probably steel wire caught in the, in the ripples. So, that leads me to believe there might be some gold underneath those wires, and there might still be some to capture. So I will run everything through at least a fourth time, and uh, maybe a fifth time. Although I think I'm running out of time for today, I might be able to run it through one more time. Then I need to go brine some chicken so it can go in the smoker tonight for dinner. Okay, everything's been through four times, but I'm really out of time for today. I'm going to go inside and uh, work on dinner. But, uh, here's my concentrates so far. Still a tremendous reduction over what I started with. I think tomorrow I will run this stuff through at least one or two more times. It's actually fairly quick and a lot less uh, laborious than panning. So I think I'll run it through uh, one or two more times tomorrow. And with I've, uh, I've, in, I've decreased the slope of the uh, sluice and I'll decrease the water flow now that I've got most of the big stuff out of it and see what small stuff I can capture with uh, less slope and less flow. But that's project for tomorrow. See you then. Well, it's the next day. Um, the chicken turned out great on the smoker, by the way. I'm going to smoke a pork roast today. But that's later. Right now, I am going to run... Let me get the water turned down on the sluice because it's just roaring through here. It needs to be a lot lower than that. And I need to... Uh, Jack up the back of it some, so that the angle's not so steep. So less slow and less angle. And I'm going to run this stuff in the in the bucket here through one more time, at least one more time. So it's been through four times already. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Went through four times already. I'm pretty sure I've got the bulk of the pay out of this, but uh, we'll run it through one more time, at least. See what it looks like. See if I see any gold in the ripples. See how much other metal I see in here. Sooner or later you reach the point of diminishing returns, where it's just not worth the effort of continuing. So far, I'm not seeing a whole lot of metal in here. I think I've got the bulk of the wires out of it. And after the first few scoops, well, I was going to say I don't see any gold, but I think I see one little piece of gold caught in one ripple. Now oh, there's another one. So there is a little gold left in here. So we'll run it all through again. Maybe one or two more times. This actually goes pretty quick. And like I said before, I'm going to save this stuff anyway, so I may uh, look at smelting or other methods to get the last little bit of gold out of it. Not sure it's worth the trouble, but we'll see. Yeah, there is definitely a whole lot less in the way of wires and a whole lot less in the way of gold accumulating in those ripples. So, definitely got the bulk of it out up till now. So now we're just going after the last little remains here. All right, it's gonna take a while to run this through. I'll show you what it looks like afterward. And then decide whether to do it again. All right. Everything's been through for the fifth time. I'm just seeing the occasional little fleck of gold down here in these ripples. I seem to have caught the vast bulk of it. Like I said, this doesn't take very long. This just goes through in a couple minutes. I will probably run the contents of this bucket or the catch bucket over here one more time, at least just to be thorough. But I certainly think I have got the vast majority of the gold because you know it's not like after the first run when the whole top of the sluice here was was full of gold now it's just I see a little speck here and there that might be gold but it's really hard to tell just to be thorough at least one more time then I think then I'll make a decision about whether to continue running or not and for this sixth run, I have really reduced the tilt of the sluice. It's almost horizontal. It's got a very low slope, flow rate. Took a long time to run the material through. Trying to capture any small particles that uh, went through before just because the flow rate and the angle were too high. All right, after six times through, I'm calling it done. Because I am... I have to strain really hard to see maybe one or two flecks of possible gold left in the sluice, in the riffles somewhere. And it's really hard to tell whether it's actually gold or not because the flat facets on those bits of uh, silicon dye in there, they can, they can diffract any color under the rainbow, including they, they can look like gold when they're not. So it's really hard to tell how much gold is left in this sluice after six runs but it sure doesn't look like much I think we've hit the point of diminishing returns I'm gonna call it and stop but of course anything that made it through the sluice is still in this bucket and I'm gonna hold on to this stuff for now like I said I might get into smelting Jason at Mount Baker mining and metals has a lot of great videos on smelting and I have most of the equipment I need to do that most of the equipment and chemicals on hand I would need to do that um, I could also um, just take my gold pans to this stuff and reduce it to that way and see uh, if I can get any more gold out of it. But I think we've gone about as far as we can with the sluice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out this sluice one last time, get all my concentrates together in a bucket, 
And then I'm going to put it in a glass beaker and see if we can get it to stratify and see how much gold's in the bottom of the beaker. That should be interesting. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So this will give you some idea just how much we concentrated the stuff. Here is the stuff that's left over after running through the sluice six times. And here's the stuff that stayed in the sluice. And boy, is it rich in gold. Nice. And I sloshed this around, and I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Probably not very well. But there is a lot of gold in the bottom of that beaker. I sloshed it around to try and get it to settle into the bottom corner of the beaker here. There is a lot of gold in there. That is nice. So, I'm going to process this and get the gold out of it. That may be the subject for another video. All right. I carefully panned out everything that was in the catch bucket. And we're down to just a little bit of heavy stuff here. Somehow, some of these, I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. There's a, some wires in there that somehow made it through the sluice six times. Um, I see one or two things that are probably gold, but I don't see a whole lot of gold in this pan. So, I'm pretty sure the sluice did a good job of catching the vast majority of the gold. Certainly 99.9% .9 of the gold. If I only see one or two little specks in here that might be gold. So, okay. So I would say that's a fairly successful experiment. I think I was really overloading that little sluice though. It really wasn't designed for handling such large amounts of material. I think I need a bigger sluice and it would work even better. Maybe catch everything after only two or three trips through instead of uh, five or six because uh, the riffles were getting loaded up. So yeah, I probably need a bigger sluice. Now my big sluice is in Wyoming so I can't use it. But I can either purchase or maybe just build because I've built sluices before. They're easy to build. Maybe I'll build a larger sluice for use in the future um, sluicing this uh, IC chip material. But I'm pretty happy with how, it, how that sluice worked. It, uh, it, caught, it caught almost all the gold. There is very little gold left in this pan. Just a few little pieces. Alright, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting or informative, uh, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. Um, subscribe to see future videos and ring the little belly thingy that you got to do on YouTube these days just so you'll be informed when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Keep it safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.